Hello guys, in this video I will show you how you can mount a USB drive with an EXT4 file partition on it on Windows 11 using WSL. All the links are in the video description as well as the timestamps so you can skip any part of the video. On the official Microsoft WSL website there is an article how you can connect any USB device to a Linux distribution running on WSL. You will need Windows 11, a Linux distribution running on WSL 2 and a Linux kernel higher than 5.10.60.1. And down here it says how you can check that. I will assume that you already have a Linux distribution running on WSL version 2. If this is the case then probably the only thing you need to do is to open PowerShell as administrator and just write WSL-update and this should automatically update the kernel. And afterwards WSL-shutdown. And now when we start WSL and write uname-a you should then see this kernel or higher. And that's exactly what we need. So what else do we need to do? We need to install USB IPD-Win package. So you can either go to this link and download the package and install it, or you can just go to PowerShell, copy this command. Let's just exit out of the distribution, back in PowerShell, copy the command and just execute as administrator. I want to install. All right, complete it, close, next. We need to execute a few commands in the Linux distribution. So let's go back to PowerShell, enter WSL again, and copy the first command, paste, enter, and the second, paste, enter. And that's about it. So what I would do in addition is just to exit WSL and execute again WSL shutdown. And now down here, you will find the commands how to attach your USB devices. Let's see how this works. First, plug in your USB device, copy this command and open another PowerShell instance as administrator and paste. And now you can see a list of connected USB devices. Here is also my USB drive. And now to attach the drive, just write USB IPD WSL attach dash dash bus ID. And the bus ID, in my case, this is the one. 2-5 enter and of course WSL needs to be running first so let's open another PowerShell window and write WSL. WSL is running and let's just dock the windows. If you want to know more about how to dock windows like that then you can find the link up there or down in the description. Now let's attach again. Okay succeeded let's see if it is really attached. LS USB Yes, this is the one, but let's see if the drive is recognized. No, unfortunately not. You name. And it's not recognized because the WSL kernel running here is missing the USB storage driver. Now we have three options to work around this. We need to find the official USB storage driver for this WSL kernel. And this driver should come from Microsoft. At the time of recording, I could not find the official driver. So let's go to option number two. Option number two, use a different kernel, maybe a generic one. But we don't know how WSL will behave with a generic kernel, which leaves us with option number three, which is get the source of the official Microsoft WSL kernel and build it together with the USB storage driver and then use this new kernel. Now you might think, building a custom kernel just for a USB drive? Are you insane? It's just a few commands, no rocket science, and you need to do this only once. So let's start. Here is the official WSL Linux kernel repository. And if you go to releases, here you can find the source code of the latest releases. Since we want this version, let's find it. Here it is. All right. In WSL, first we need to install some dependencies. I will copy them from my cheat sheet. You can find all the commands in the description below. All right, then I will create a new directory under user source and go inside. In here, we will get the source. Let's make this one a bit bigger. Then I will use an environment variable to hold my kernel version is here and then I will copy the source from github. This can take some time. All right the source is here and we are also in the right folder. Now we need to copy the current kernel configuration into the source folder. Then we need to unzip it and also name it dot config. All right so you should see something like this and here is the config. Now let's add the driver to the config, but first let's make the window bigger. This is the kernel configuration and in here we need to find device drivers. And somewhere down here 
USB support. And here we need to find, here it is, USB mass storage support. It is disabled now and we want to include it into the build. So press Y. This is basically everything we need. So we can exit, press escape and escape again and again. Do you wish to save your new configuration? Yes, enter. All right, and now let's build the kernel sudo make dash j and the number of threads. That's it, and build. This can take some time. All right, finished. Let's install it now. Modules, install, number of threads, enter. And sudo make install, the number of threads. Now you should find the kernel image inside this folder. Here it is. And we will copy this one to the C drive, which is mounted under mnt slash C. And there I have a folder called sources. Let's copy it over. We are not done in WSL, so we can exit. And also we will shut down WSL. All right, let's make the window smaller and let's go to the Explorer. Here is the kernel image that we copied over and now we want to use this kernel image in WSL. Now navigate to your user folder in Windows. Now inside your user directory you should find the .wsl config file. I don't have one so I will create one. New text file .wsl config and open the file in a text editor. And now I will copy the content over. Here we are telling WSL that we want to use a custom kernel and here is the kernel that we want to use. Save it. We can close that. All right, let's see if it worked. Start WSL. Do we have any attached USB devices? Not yet. So let's attach the USB drive. All right, check again. Here it is. But do we recognize the device? And yes, we do. Here are the two partitions. Now we just need to mount it. I will create a folder for the first partition, part one, and also for the second. And now we just need to mount them. The first one, MNT part one, and the second to part two. Let's check them out. Ubuntu, MNT part one, here's the first one, and part two, here's the second one, with everything inside. Awesome. So we attached an USB drive with two partitions. First is an EFI partition and the second one is an EXT4 partition. And we can access them in the Explorer. It's basically a full Linux desktop on a USB drive. And if you want to know how to create one, the link should be somewhere up there or down in the description. Now I have to admit, this mounting and unmounting is a bit tedious, if you ask me. And there is a workaround for this as well. Let's first unmount the two partitions we can install a tool that will handle this for you and it's called USB mount. And now if you navigate to your media folder, you will see it created eight USB folder here, which are now empty. But as you attach USB drives, they will be automatically mounted inside the folders. So first let's detach the device, detach. And now there is an additional thing that we need to run in WSL here in order for this to work. I will copy the command over paste it in. It is systemd udevd, which is disabled by default on WSL, but we need this one if we want to auto mount stuff. So let's run it in the background. All right, make sure it's running and it is. And now if we attach the device again, the partitions should now be auto mounted. The first partition to USB zero and here it is EFI partition and the second one to USB one. Here it is, ext4 partition. And now if we detach, let's check again. Media, USB 0, dismounted, USB 1, dismounted. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, if you liked my content, then give a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. It means a lot to me and it helps the channel grow. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye.